welcome back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chat. Shout out to all my fellow Spoonies. So for today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different, kind of on the lines of crafting and like DIYs but we're gonna DIY my hair. <laughs> if you're like an OG here and you followed my Instagram like years back, you will know from probably between like 2017 and early last year, I went through the whole realm, whole realm, oh my gosh, whole realm, oh, that's hard to say, <laughs> the whole realm of the rainbow. Like my hair was every different color. Um, and it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. The only reason I stopped doing it is because I had to start some meds for my RA and it caused a lot of hair loss. And I just decided I wanted to give my hair a little bit of a break. Um, it's been about a year of being pretty close to my natural hair color. I went a little bit darker. My naturals kind of see the roots. It's like a medium ashy brown. I'm bored and I decided let's let's change it up. I miss purple. Purple was always my favorite one. I think I always kind of end up leaning back to some shade of purple. I I have a couple products I'm going to try out. The actual purple dye is Arctic Fox. Uh, I've used it before. I absolutely love it. Um, so that I know is going to go well. What I'm hoping will go well is the removal of the blackish brown dye and this is a permanent shade. I do have a dye remover um, and it's meant specifically for permanent dyes and I said it will work with any level. Um, I'm probably at about maybe a level three or so and the reviews on this are really good. There's a lot of people that even had like like black black dye and it, it pulled it out. So um, I'm anticipating I'm probably going to go Maybe a shade of brown, but probably kind of orangey. Orange would actually be perfect because purple goes over orange super, super well. So let's just head to the bathroom and get started. Okay, hopefully this view is okay and the lighting isn't too bad. Um, I put on my my hair dyeing shirt, so one of my baggy tie-dye shirts. It works really well for this. Um, so let me go ahead and take my glasses off, take my necklace off pull this out. I'm going to go and brush my hair, but let me show you the product that we're going to start with. This is Color Fix. Um, I've never seen this before, but it came up. I was actually on Amazon looking for a different product that I've used before, but this came up and I was like, oh, and it has argan oil. It's cruelty free, which I really like. Um, and I happened to find this at Sally's. So they had it there. So we're going to give it a go. Um, it is one of those where you need like a bowl and a brush to apply. It doesn't, um, Come, it's not like a bottle or anything. And I have not washed my hair in a couple days. You can kind of see my roots are, are kind of greasy. I figured um, for this process, I knew it, I mean, it's supposed to be a little bit nicer on your hair than just straight up like a bleach or bleach wash, bleach bath. Um, but I wanted to have, you know, some natural oils kind of built up to hopefully help protect my skin and my hair as much as possible. This comes with, there's three bottles. One, two, and three. And it looks like you mix equal parts of one and two. You'll put that onto your hair. You will let that set, and I think it kind of processes. Um, yeah, apparently this thing acts pretty quickly. So, like, I'm really, I, I like to really, really part my hair and section it when I do this. Um, got my my bowl and brush. I'm going to go ahead and just mix these. I'm going to do the whole entire thing. My hair is pretty long, so I feel like I will need all of the solution. But yeah, I like to really, really section off my hair when I do mine because um, I want to make sure I don't miss any parts. The last thing you want, especially if you're doing something like this where it's a removal and your hair is probably going to lighten, last thing you want is like, you know, a big dark piece that you missed or to be uneven. Ooh, this is so... If you've ever used... um like color oops or hair removal and it smells like all sorts of rotten egg that's kind of what this is smelling like oh, oh lord have mercy oh, yes this is very sulfuric okay i opened up a window because this is riff i don't have a fan in this bathroom um, this house is like 100 years old, so there's no fan. We actually, when we shower, we have to use like a dehumidifier 
you have to run a dehumidifier to like pull out the moisture. Okay, while well, windows open, hopefully you don't hear outside noises too much. I'm gonna go ahead, if you can kind of see, this is like creamy. I'm gonna go ahead and just start applying it. I know you really just start it at the back versus the top. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Um, because I want to make sure I can get, I want the top to be the lightest for sure. So that way, like if there, the purple's on it, it's the brightest. If this underneath happens to be a little bit dark still, um, I don't mind that because I tend to have my hair down a lot. Even if I have it up, then it'll just look like an ombre. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get started because I know you need to use this pretty quickly. I am starting, um, at the root. I hope that's okay because this isn't like. I don't anticipate it's going to do anything to my actual roots because there's no dye on those. Those are just, you know, natural hair coming through. I don't think it's going to work like a bleach where it would start lightening that and you get hot roots. But again, I'm going to dye this purple, so it's whatever. I try to just go all the way around my edges and then I will go through and do like one section at a time. I've dyed my hair a whole lot, so I kind of, kind of know what I'm doing. I've never used this product, but I know all about sectioning and making sure to get everything. So what I do is I just use the brush to kind of pull a little section right there. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger of a section. I try to go all the way back, pull that section, and then just pull it over and then do all of your roots that way. The back of the head for me, um, I do it a bit awkwardly. I tend to like hold a hand mirror and turn around and do it this way. But I have seen people who put like big mirrors behind them. So they have one mirror here, one mirror behind them. And they can see the back of their head that way. I guess you kind of just figure out what works for you. I mean, also, honestly, if you have help, <laughs> help would uh, make it the easiest. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to finish sectioning all the way around the top and then the back as well. And then I'll go through and fill in and do the whole length of everything, make sure everything is widely covered, and um, then I'll just show you what it looks like, probably my shower cap, before I start timing how long it needs to go. Okay, I got it all on there pretty well saturated. You can see some of it's even kind of starting to turn a little bit orangey, so that's good. So I'm gonna put on my little toad-esque, toad, you know, Mario Toad. Anywho, I'm going to put this on, um, let it set for 20 minutes, like it says, and then we'll check back on it. Um, again, so far the review for this, um, the only thing I will say is it doesn't come with gloves, so make sure you buy yourself some gloves from Sally's. It does not come with a bowl or comb, which most things don't, but it doesn't even come with like an applicator bottle to mix it all in, so make sure you have that. And it doesn't come with a like shower cap or something like this, so make sure you have one of those as well. But yeah, 20 minutes. Um, and then I'll come back and we'll show you kind of what it looks like, get it rinsed out, and continue the process. Okay, everyone, so it's been probably about 22 minutes, maybe 25. I got a little sidetracked, but, oh, it's definitely, it's lightening up in some places, not so much in others. Oh, getting on wet gloves are, like, the freaking worst. I think it's going to be light enough. I wonder if I should leave this on longer? Oh, you can repeat, repeat this process up to three times. But uh, I don't have any stuff left. So I'm just going to see. I think it's going to be light enough for purple to go over it. I don't need it to be super, super bright. I'm not going for a pastel or anything. So I'm going to, um, it says to rinse it for three to five minutes and shampoo twice. Um, it's probably just to make sure all of the, the stuff is out of it. Um, hoping that will be good. And then once that is done, then you apply part three. This little stuff, let it sit for five minutes. That'll be good because I won't condition it um, because whenever you use Arctic Fox or like a semi-permanent um, dye like that where it's just sitting on it, it's not actually penetrating the actual hair follicle, um, they actually say don't condition before use. They want just shampoo so that way it has something to kind of attach to. Whereas if there's conditioner on it, sometimes I think it just makes the hair follicle too smooth and then it can't attach, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm not a hair professional. This is just me and my own knowledge of having done my hair for many, many years. So I think that may be right, but feel free to correct me down in the comments. But okay, so I'm going to go rinse 
shampoo and then put this stuff on um, and we'll show you what it looks like when it's dry. All right, friends, so I got through all that. It took forever, by the way. Um, it landed a bit. It's not showing too much on camera, but it's like a medium brown with like tins of orange, or not orange, autumn, auburn. <laughs> Tinges of auburn. I had hoped it would have gone a little bit lighter. I definitely think if, but I mean, considering how dark my hair was, it, it did definitely bring some out. Um, I, I think if you were hoping to do a lighter, probably do a couple processes of this and it says you can do up to three times. So I think maybe that's probably what it's intended for, but who wants to do that process several times? No one. I do think it's gonna be light enough for the purple to show up. So I'm using Arctic Fox. I have an old bottle, it's Purple Rain. They've rebranded it to essentially be Purple AF, but it's the exact same color. I just got another small bottle of it because um, I've had this for a couple of years now. It's probably fine. I don't think it would have really dried out. I'm going to mix the two together just so I have a bit of old, a bit of new. Uh, with this, you definitely also want to have gloves because this stuff is super, super pigmented and it will stain your hands. Look at this shade. It's like a deep purple. All right. Sweet Lord, how? Okay. Also, I bought the small gloves from Sally's and these are still like, look how long this is. This, this, I know my fingers are, are terribly short. Like I have stubby little, small hands, stubby little fingers. All right, so let's get this poured in here for all the people who love the, oh, the color mix. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I really do hope this turns out well. If anything, it's gonna give like a nice, purpley purple brown oh they actually are slightly different color okay so the new one interesting okay the one closest to my finger right here is the new one the old one's the other side maybe it's just because it's older it's kind of oxidized a little or something so it just looks a little bit darker even though it's supposed to be the same formula if you've never used Arctic Fox, it smells so good. One of the reasons why I love it, it smells like, like fruit, like, everyone always says grapes. Maybe it's grapes, but it smells like very berry. Let's get to it. Ooh, this is going to be pretty. So who is ready for Halloween decor hunting? I'm so, so ready. I actually have a couple pieces coming from um, a small business I found on Etsy. So I will be doing a small business, a spooky small business shout out, uh, probably next week's video. So that way, give a shout out to some small businesses. Cause as we're looking towards like, you know, Halloween decor hunting, I always like to feature small businesses because, you know, as someone who also does that kind of stuff myself, I know, I love big box stuff, but I also really love stuff that's handmade by an individual or a small company um, because I feel like there's a little bit more effort put into it when it's just a small business. There's, you know, if you've seen my, my spooky small business unboxing videos, I always talk about how much I love the, the just attention to detail and how much care is put into things versus what you get at like. I don't know, Target or something. I mean, I love those things, don't get me wrong, but I I definitely I definitely appreciate the the little touches that that people put into their own work. So, I have there's one thing specific I'm super super excited to get um and it will definitely be part of our Halloween decor hunting season. Remember what all I've gotten from small businesses recently and make sure I feature everybody. If there's a small business that you really enjoy um, that does like spooky or Halloween oriented stuff or very witchy or fairy kind of stuff, um, definitely feel free to comment the name of the company down below. Um, if they have an Etsy or if they have like their own website or something, uh, please let me know because I would love to definitely start adding to my list and figuring out who we're going to be supporting this year and what's just out there. You know, everybody's so creative with what they make. I love it. And I'm just excited to 
I see what people do. Okay, so what do I do? I'm not really explaining anything. Um, I go through and do all of the roots first, just to make sure those are very well, very well coated. And then after I do all the roots, then I'll go back through and do all of the, uh, the mids and ends. I definitely want to make sure that root area is well covered just so we have a nice even application. <laughs> Can you guys hear the birds? I still have the window open from doing the that dye remover because um, it's still kind of smelled in here and I wanted to air it out best I can. The birdies are, are singing or talking or screaming. I don't know. I, I, I don't understand them. They could be screaming Halloween decor hunting time is coming for all I know. And I would agree and be very excited. Oh my gosh, I just heard that, uh, was it at home? Their Halloween items is are set to be out, um, at least the first round of it. I don't know if they're gonna do multiple rounds or how much they're gonna put out initially, but some of it is supposed to be set out by the week of June 26th. And of course, that's the week I'm freaking camping and I will not be able to go Halloween decor hunt. So I'm going to look a little ahead of time. And then as soon as I get back from my trip, I will be going out and seeing what, what at home has. Cause there, um, there are two that are decently close to me. And then there's a third one that I can check out. It's a little bit further away. I know last year I only went there, I think a couple times to that particular location just because it's so far away and half the time they were not set up very well for Halloween. Like they didn't have a whole lot. I know last year was, even the year before, it's very weird as far as like supply chain and inventory for everything. Hoping this year will be a little bit better. You guys see? So the roots, ooh, yes. Oh my gosh, this is giving me all the good vibes. Okay, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna go through my roots, I'm gonna do the ends, I'm gonna do the back. When I come back, I'll show you the reveal. Send happy thoughts that it turns out well. <laughs> okay, so I'm done. In the light, like sunlight, it has like a reddish purple tint to it, like maroon, but in just regular lighting, it just looks black. This is not what I wanted. <laughs> I, I think I just didn't lighten my hair enough, and I'm legit tempted to go uh, bleach my hair so it can be lighter. Cause I really wanted like a deep, like royal purple. This is just not enough change for me. Like it looks fun in the sun, but it's more red than purple. I was not wanting red burgundy. Um. I'm not sure where I'm going to go from here. If I'm going to go bleach bath this. Or bleach bleach it tonight and uh, try doing purple again. It's about 6 o'clock. Hey, it's time to do it. Okay, if I wrap this up here with this, you'll know I decided not to. Um, if you see me with bright purple hair, you'll know I decided to bleach it. So, I'll see you in a second either way. So... So yeah, I went and redid it. I honestly ended up just doing like a light bleaching of it. Um, just enough to get it to like a light-ish orange. I'll put a picture here of what that looks like. It's definitely a bit brighter than it was with the color remover. Um, and then I just did the same purple. The purple, I will say, purple green slash purple AF is a bit more reddish base than I remembered. I was thinking it was the blue base. So um, it may be that Violet Dream is the more blue base. So I might try and work on as this kind of lightens if within a few washes or so. I'll, I might try putting more of that on because I do want it to be more of like a, a deeper purpley blue than like burgundy. But nonetheless, I'm happy. I mean, that's uh, just, just regular lighting. And then... <laughs> This 
is with sunlight. So it is a lot more vibrant. This is definitely what I wanted. I wanted just something, ooh, like some of these streaks that, that lightened more with the bleach, they took on that purple. So I don't know. This is kind of what I wanted. I still want a little bit more change, but I'm happy enough to give my hair a rest for a bit, so, which I know it probably needs. I, I definitely need to do another couple deep conditioning masks on it because bleaching is harsh for my hair and I'm I'm trying to be as kind to it as I can. So my final review for all of this stuff, the um, that color remover, I think, you know, if you're definitely, if you're not starting with black, if you're starting with maybe like a, you know, maybe you did a dye and it's not what you like or it didn't work out quite like what you wanted and it's a permanent dye, I think it would work really well. Even if you have dark brownish to black hair, this permanent dye that you're trying to remove, I think it could work. It just said on there you'd have to do that process a couple times and I use so much of it because my hair is quite long that I would have had to buy a couple boxes and again do the process twice. It probably still would have been less damaging I think than bleaching but I'm not sure um, just because again that was the first time I used it. For the purple hair dye um, I, I love this shade um, but I will say if you're looking for more of a purpley or a more blue based purple definitely check out Violet Dream then. I also heard if you took Violet Dream and mixed it with Aquamarine from Arctic Fox, that really gives it a bluey purple. So I might try and pick up some Aquamarine and mix it with the, the Violet Dream that I already have. So um, but nonetheless, I'm really happy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's definitely a little bit different than what um, I've done most recently on the channel, but I just felt like doing a little something, sharing with this experience with you all in case there's anybody else out there that likes to do this kind of stuff to their hair as well. If you did like this, please do give the video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It does help people find the video and find the channel um, when there's more interaction with it. Leave it a comment down below if you're your thoughts on this? Did it turn out quite like what you expected? Better? Worse? I'm still, it's still a little worse than I expected, but nonetheless, I am happy with the final outcome. Also, if you aren't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I am really starting to get into Halloween decor hunting season. We're already starting to see some sneak peeks at at home and old time pottery. I'm trying to hold off on going another like week or two and not be that person, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be that person because I am. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh my gosh, I've said that for the 10th time. Yep, hope you're doing wonderful. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye!